Hi, my name is Rick Resignal. I'm the Department Supervisor for the HVAC program here at Lincoln Tech Union, New Jersey. So this room right here is the first place the students come to uh, in the department. This is the introduction to climate controls. This room is where we start to teach them the new language of heating, air conditioning, and refrigeration. We start to introduce them to the concepts, the basic concepts of the science and the mathematics that go into our field. And then we also introduce them to the hands-on components of what we do. We do our very best to try to put as much hands-on into our program as possible. We'll talk about the distance learning and how that's going to work as we move through the program. But in this room, we start talking about swedging, soldering, brazing, flaring, cutting and threading steel pipe. So when they leave here, they've already this class, they've already started working with their hands and learning some of the principles of safety, job site procedures, and so on. So this room here is commercial refrigeration. Uh, it's where we teach both the commercial control side of, the, of commercial refrigeration, and we do something called commercial design. The commercial controls class is about wiring controls, simple controls. We're not talking about uh, digital controlled systems. This is where students get the concept of a defrost cycle, pump down cycles, and so on. Behind me are these small trainers here. We built these guys. We call them mini-me's or Franken-fridges. And really what it is is a small, a small refrigeration system that the students have the opportunity to work on and develop their wiring skills on a system that will do uh, a defrost cycle as well as a pump down cycle. The commercial design class, they design a walk-in box, which we have here, from the product that's going in there to the size of the box to what kind of equipment. The instructor here actually has the students develop a full-on quote if they were to do this for a customer. The fun part is our instructor goes to the different instructors in the building and say, hey, we need a, an idea for a product that's going to go in this box. And we, of course, try to find something that's interesting and challenging for the students. They'll design the refrigeration system based upon what, what our requirements are, and they'll come back to us with the quote. It's a great process. The students learn a whole bunch of stuff about how to size a system properly according to the BTU loads, right up to dealing with a customer with a quote. It's a fantastic class. Also in the commercial design class, we have the students work with commercial ice machines. They go through the sanitizing process. They understand the, the basic uh, ice machine cycle. Um, and we have the opportunity to give them some hands-on with, with a commercial ice maker. This is the basic refrigeration room. In this room, they start with the process of learning how the refrigeration cycle works. They learn their gauges. They learn how to collect data from a working system. The systems you see behind me are just simple, basic systems, just four components. It's the refrigeration cycle stripped down to its very bare minimum. The students can get into these systems and do all the processes that we see in the field, recover, recycle. They go through evacuations, pressure testing, and charging these systems. They're not complicated systems. They are strictly for learning the basics. This is one of the first classes they see after they've passed through the introductory to, to climate control. They start to build the basis of, of their, their skill set. They're learning more hands-on in this room. This is one of my favorite classes. I've taught this class many, many, many times. And the students are always so engaged in this particular class because it's the first time they get to put their gauges on stuff. And it makes them feel like a technician. So this has been a fantastic classroom, and I love the way we set this up. The guys really have a good time in this room. This is the heating mechanical classroom. In this classroom, the students work on heating equipment ranging from hydronics to forced air. They work on gas systems and fuel oil systems. These systems that you see behind me were donated from the good folks over at Peerless. They, we have everything from standard efficiency all the way up to this modulating high efficiency boiler. We designed the system with Peerless's input on this. The students actually did the work. So this was a fantastic uh, opportunity to put this together. These systems are connected to actual radiation that you would find in a typical home. We have everything from cast iron radiation to toe kick under cabinet uh, heaters. We have uh, copper baseboard and we have unit heaters that you would find in a shop or a garage. This is the air conditioning systems classroom. This classroom, we take, this is the first time we take electrical components and marry it to refrigeration components for comfort. The systems behind us, we have an R22 system that's still around. It's, they're going out of style, but they're still around. 
we have heat pumps, we have traditional air conditioners. The students have an opportunity to now put their, what they've learned in electricity and in refrigeration and use it for comfort. There's several systems that are here for just the, to be taken apart and, and inspected and the students can use their tactile sense to, to learn what components are. We even have a packaged rooftop unit in this room for the students to work on. The good folks over at Edison Heating and Cooling donated high sear carrier infinity equipment to us so we can install that stuff in this room. All modulating equipment with an inverter type compressor. So we're looking forward to putting that in this summer for the students to work on. In this class we talk about indoor air quality. Especially in this day and age where indoor air quality is, is of concern and in people's minds now. We designed this system in this room to stand alone from the rest of the building where it's its, its own enclosed system. There is high efficiency filtration, there's a UV light for killing biological things such as viruses, mold spores, and pollen. This system was designed specifically for this room based upon its load and how the ductwork is supposed to work in this room. This is the green classroom, not just because we painted it green. Everything in this classroom is, is here for high efficiency, renewable energy, sustainable energy. We talk about geothermal, we have a solar uh, hot water system. Behind me is a heat pump water heater. But this, this class, the students learn the skills of an energy audit. When it comes to testing your home for its efficiency, this is what we, what we do here with these students. Right here is a model of a home with all the, all the imperfections of air leaks and such that go into it that, that a typical home has. This also has a built-in blower door test. So we can show the students what a blower door test looks like. But then outside the window there is our greenhouse built by Hamden Engineering. It's a house specifically for doing energy audits. We do a blower door test. The students use a thermal imaging camera to see the anomalies in the wall. This is, a, this is the last class the students have with us before we turn them loose to our, our um, employers. They have an opportunity to go through combustion analysis. They check the, the efficiency of air conditioning and heat pump systems. We also have a Hamden training here that gives the, the students a, another chance at doing some hands-on diagnostic work with their meters and with um, their wiring diagrams and controls.